Over 120 Phuket children, some of whom had lost their parents in the 2004 tsunami, were the special guests at a new football training facility that was officially opened by Joseph Sepp Blatter, the Federation International Football Association, or FIFA, president, and Warawi Makudi, the Football Association of Thailand president, last Tuesday, the 15th of September. The Tsunami Memorial Football Center at Ban Al Nambour School, near Cape Panoir, on the east coast of Phuket, was the first project to be inaugurated in 2006 from a joint FIFA and Asian Football Confederation, or AFC, fund of $11 million, set up in the wake of the tsunami tragedy, which caused widespread destruction along the coast bordering the Indian Ocean. Warawi made the first welcoming and thank you speech in front of the new clubhouse. On behalf of the Football Association of Thailand, the football family in Phuket, and the people of Thailand, I would like to welcome back our dear FIFA president in Phuket to inaugurate the Tsunami Memorial Football Center built under the FIFA and the AFC Solidarity Fund. I would like also to sincerely thank him for taking time for his busy schedule to be with us in the church in Bukit. Then Paibun Upati Singh, chairman of the Phuket Provincial Administration Organization, also spoke in Thai, promising to take good care of the new facility so it is fully utilized and becomes a lasting legacy to Phuket. Then Mr. Blatter spoke to the appreciative assembled audience about how world football charity events, including a special match between superstar teams led by Chevchenko and Ronaldinho, was used as a tool for social change to express solidarity and hope for tsunami hit countries which he had also expressed when he first came here three years ago. And I can tell you, when I was here three years ago, and when I realized what has been done, then I am proud. I am proud of the people here, and a big compliment, a big compliment to everybody. They have helped to rebuild, or to build now this center. In this center now, it is not only the construction of a memorial football center and a clubhouse. It is more, it is additional accommodation for 100 players at the, at the center. Then uh, the construction of a multi-purpose hall and training facilities and more. And I congratulate the school, the help of the school here present, and then to invite or to have a look on all these children most of them having lost relatives or parents during this tournament. So what is best in football, instead of kicking the ball and speaking only about the expended money for players and speaking about penalties and, and uh, 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 painting and whatever. No, let's have football as a tool of social, cultural value and based on solidarity and hope. And here we are. And you can see, you can see I have, I am full of emotion when I am speaking on that. Because this is more football. This is where football plays a key role in our society. Mr. Blatter signed and presented commemorative footballs to several students of 10 local Phuket schools represented, as they will primarily benefit from these excellent facilities, but also children from southern provinces. Then the formal opening was marked with a ribbon-cutting moment, and the unveiling of a plaque inside, incidentally saying in the presence of the Phuket governor, who did not appear. The FIFA president and other VIPs then went walkabout onto the grass pitches, which needed more than expected work and funds to reduce subsidence and flooding during the construction period. The Tsunami Memorial Football Center in Phuket received 950,000 US dollars or about 33 million baht towards the construction. On the pitch, they posed for several photos with the lucky kids. And Mr. Blatter also met with foreign tourist police volunteers in Phuket who want to also raise funds for other football projects along with their normal security duties. 
The FIFA president also posed with members of the PPAO and Wichit municipality who will manage the new facility on behalf of the kids and young players who will come to train and play here. There's no doubt young Thais have talents in football, but lack the necessary facilities and guidance from experienced coaches to turn that talent into FIFA World Cup qualification. Thailand is currently ranked 115th in the world, but the Thai FA still aim to be among the qualifying finalists of the World Cup in 2014, when some of these kids may be old enough to play there. We suggested Mr. Blatter encourage the kids with a short kick around, and he duly obliged showing some of the skills he still has from his Swiss club playing days many years ago. Even if he is the most powerful man in world football, he still knows how to play the beautiful game, in a smart suit, on a hot day. The kids, all dressed in cooler Football for Hope t-shirts, waved us off the pitch. At a press conference afterwards, Mr Blatter also explained he was going to meet the Thai Prime Minister later that day to discuss Thailand's bids to host the Futsal World Championship and the FIFA Congress in 2012, which may bring delegates to Phuket. While we also confirmed this Phuket facility would primarily be for children of tsunami-hit provinces. But this new pitch was already used for the Phuket International Soccer Sevens tournament last year and again will host this year's tournament over the last two weekends in November so fit expats here and in Asia can also enjoy FIFA's quality surface.